Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by the No Sister Malco's YouTube channel. Uh, in case you missed it, this is the actual replay of our Sunday's live session, in which case I reviewed the game Multi. Multi is a sponsored game set by the company. It is worth every second, and you'll see why when you watch the actual video. I have also shared with you the unboxing of Absolute Zero Junior, which is another fantastic game. And if you wait to the end, you'll see a sneak peek of next week's unboxing. Now, before we actually go over to the replay, a few things to keep in mind. Number one, all these games and the links are below, so don't forget to check it out. Number two, we start school this week, so we are reaching out to you guys if you have any benefit or just would like to support our classroom. Well then, check out the link below. I have a link to our wish list. And all you have to do is click on it, and if there's something that speaks to your heart, then it's obviously going to speak to my student's heart. And just by, you know, adding it to your Amazon card and sending it to us, you will make a world of a difference for my students. So, without any further ado, welcome to the game review. Hey guys, welcome back to the No Sester Malcolm's channel. On today's live session, we're going to do a game review, an unboxing, and of course, I'm going to announce next week's game. But before I get into the session, um, I switched out the link in my profile just once. I'm going to tell you about the new link I put in. It's just going to be for the remainder of this week, so I need your help to go up there and click the link, but more on that at the end. So the first, I'm going to start off with the review, and this is this game Multi. And this game Multi is by far, not only is it a fantastic multiplication review game, it's just a fantastic game. Think about it as multiplication times who knows how what. So let's say you pick a factor, one through nine. Then if you look closely at this board here, let me get the bigger board. Why are we settling for less, right? If you look closely, each multiplication table has its own square here. So my goal is to complete a line across to um, diagonal to own my line in this one so I can claim it. And then once I claim it, I have to claim a line on the bigger board. And look how big this board is. So, ah, look at this. So I am playing giant multiplication in or tic-tac-toe while I'm playing small tic-tac-toe. And every time I pick a factor, I have to actually go about the board and make sure to get all of my pieces in it. I mean, whoa, you really have to think of multiplication times nine times one. Oh, so amazing. So outside the box. And I like tic-tac-toe. It was one of the first games I learned. It's one of those games you play in school. So the kids are familiar with the mechanics and just to play multi, whoa. Definitely if you're teaching multiplication, let me know if you are. Double tap this video if you're teaching multiplication and let me know what you think of this game multi. Whoa. So for this next unboxing, I have this little game. It's basically, it's a little card game and it's called Absolute Zero. Um, unfortunately, I checked last week. It is sold out. This is the junior version. It's no longer available from where I could find it. If you could find it, oh my gosh, let me know because why not? And this is a new game I purchased too, so I'm a little disappointed it's sold out, but whatever. But the regular version is for sale and so I left a link for that as well but anyway um absolute junior it comes in this really nice card box the real reason i bought it is just to kind of reinforce the absolute zero concept so i like it this look at this card box it opens up kind of like a little case and it snaps shut and it's small so put it on the shelf Ooh, good to go um we're actually working on small game storage at the moment so next are the cards I like how they're stored. They're not in a plastic, but they're wrapped up nicely. So in terms of storage, it's kind of cute. You have the first card on top says deck contents. Oh, I like this already. Look at this. Addition slash multiplication war rules. So right off here, again, I'm going to play it this week. I could tell you this game teaches two skills. So play addition, no problem. Put the game away, bring it back out for multiplication. No problem. I love it. A game that doesn't stop teaching. Put that in your shelf. The next card, it says over here, Absolute Zero Junior Rules. So I guess it's a third game. 
and here it says find the difference rules so just by looking at these two cards you have three games so this is going to be a game you're going to use more than once and i love it for the actual cards they are unique in terms of the back so you know exactly which game it goes to if you're like me and have like a gazillion different games and some of them have like just like a solid color back and i'm like oh which game did that come to but i'll just say oh absolute zero i know exactly where it went so love that feature next are the cards so you have your black set oops and this is they're nice a uh, bonus in terms of education is that you could just totally randomly put like regular deck of cards the um numbers but this is in a base 10 so if you do teach base 10 montessori or any others like method this is so your type of deck so great job on the black set next we have a deck of red or red cards um something that this actually brought to my mind i don't know if you are familiar with this game but sky joe has negative numbers you don't often see it in card games and i actually <laughs> this is a good story i had a four-year-old five-year-old four turning five-year-old that age playing sky joe with me and i gave i actually split the deck of i gave Part of the deck had just the positive numbers, part of the deck had positive and negative mixed in, and that's how we, you know, model inclusion, where she was observing the older kids play while she was just as much part of the game. And she was like, oh, a negative number, and then like that started subtracting. Like, so right here, again, I don't know how these are used, I don't know what we're going to use it, but the fact that this game has negative numbers means I can introduce some of my younger students to the concept of negative, I know when they're younger we use the word subtract, but in games like this I use the word negative and explain negative does not have. So again, you have your, uh, your red and your black. That's very striking. And last you have your green. Zeros. I guess that's absolute zero. I don't know for sure. So right off the bat I could tell you this does look like a math game. And who doesn't like a good math game? So before I share with you what next week's game is, I just want to do a few things. Number one, this game was actually, multi was actually sent to us by the company. And so far I love it. So I'm going to leave a link to them, you know, go check them out because this is a game you want. Number two, if you want to have a game sponsored, whether it's your game, a game you love and you want to send it to us, let me know. And there's multiple ways you could do it. Which brings me to number three, the link in my profile, just for this week, I'm taking it down next week. Um, I don't know if you're familiar, but Benosa Estramalca is actually a school. We are a game school in which we try every single day to share with our students not only the value of play, but how play can lead them to a higher social emotional learning, a higher academic learning, and every single day when I sit in my classroom, my students blow me away. So that being said, for a very short time, I created an Amazon wish list. I linked it up in our profile, and here's where I need your help. I post these videos for you guys. It is part of our mission to share game schooling, but with back to school season, there are some supplies we need. I'm not talking about anything big. I'm talking about mainly folders, a few manipulatives. Again, check out the link above, and if you can, it would mean the world to us if you could be part of our journey and just send my students some basic school supplies. Now, once you click the link and send us some basic school supplies, I'm going to show you next week's game. This is a word a winder. I found this at a local gift uh, discount store. So what caught my attention was the Merriam-Webster, the dictionary on the top. I have a few students who adore spelling, love spelling, and that's actually going to be a huge part of our focus this coming school year, spelling, phonics, you know, take it one step at a time, we're going to learn root words, and when I saw this game, I'm like, oh my goodness, for students who love spelling, we're going to unbox it next week and check it out, because you know what, if they love spelling, I want to make them love it even more. So again, thank you guys so much for stopping by. We have three great games for you to check out and a wish list above if you want to help our journey and help us spread game schooling even further. further.
Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Have a good Sunday. Whoa, was this a week packed with games. You're going to find next week's game, uh, link below, to a dictionary game. I cannot wait to play this week's game, Absolute Zero Junior. And again, link below. And last but not least, Multi, we reviewed it. I can't wait to introduce it to my students. Link below if you guys want to introduce it to your students as well. And don't forget to check out the link and help our classroom by donating to our wish list. We have certain things, a lot of folders actually. My students use folders the most. So if you guys can just send a folder our way, world of a difference. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Have a wonderful week.